What's up guys, Classy Metal here. Finally getting around to recording this uh, Life After Death video. Uh, I've been meaning to show off some stuff that I've purchased from that label. For This has been going on for about a couple months now and I keep on getting stuff in to add to the video and finally I just had to, to tell myself, okay, we're gonna cut it off and, and we're gonna do uh, the video before this gets out of hand. Uh, Life After Death, I'm sure you guys all know the label, especially if you follow my channel. They are an Ohio-based uh, death metal label. They have a killer web store. If you do not follow them on social media, I highly suggest that you do so. They are always announcing sales and discounts, discount codes on uh, social media platforms. I'm going to link up their web store in the description. I'm also going to link up their uh, Instagram and Facebook pages as well. That way you can uh, go follow them. I, just go follow them. I, you won't, if you don't follow them on social media, you will miss out on some killer sales. So that's all That's all I got to say about that. Uh, there, stuff in this, uh, in this box, I've got a huge amount of stuff to show here. It's CDs and tapes. Um, so a couple of these came from their band camp, but the majority of these came straight from the, the web store. A lot of them were like percent off sales. They had a sale going where if you bought a CD, you got a free tape. And I could not pass that one up. I mean, that was a killer deal. So that's why there's so many tapes in this uh, in this video as well. I think I'll start with the tapes and we'll kind of go through those. Um, I'm also, for you guys, I will try to take the time and uh, link up or at least list everything in the description in the order that I show it. So that will take me a little bit of time, but you guys follow the channel. If you're taking the time to watch this video and listen to what this old hillbilly here has to say about death metal, then the least I can do is uh, link this stuff in the description and, and kind of shine some light on these bands for you and give you a chance to kind of hear some of this stuff for yourself. Well, we're going to start with the tapes, as I said. Uh, the first one is a uh, satanic death metal, uh, very evil kind of sounding death metal band out of Illinois. Yeah, Illinois. Uh, if you've been following the Seven Deadly Spins series I do on this channel for the last, I think it was probably last year uh, when I mentioned this band, uh, there was a band called Luna and Sanguina. Um, Mike from Luna and Sanguina also plays in Evil Incarnate. This is their 2020 release entitled Depopulation Agenda. Uh, it's got a little crack there on the front, but nothing nothing that's going to uh, bother me just too terribly bad. This is just an evil, evil offering from Evil Incarnate. I mean, the name of the band is perfect for this uh, Depopulation Agenda. That is kind of a, a perfect name for an album in this uh, kind of political climate, this kind of landscape, that world landscape that we've got going on now. I've given this a couple plays. And I really dig this. It is just kind of dark, brooding, evil stuff. But I, I do I do dig it. There's definitely no apologies from Evil Incarnate on this release. So uh, if you're kind of if if you're easily offended by that type of stuff, or you wear um, your religion too heavily on your sleeve, you're probably not going to dig that one too much. But I, I really did uh, enjoy that one. Uh, next up, we have some death metal out of Brazil. I, I don't tend to find too much death metal out of Brazil, and uh, this was a, a pretty stellar release. Uh, this full length was put out through Life After Death on this. Uh, this is a Life After Death, I guess, uh, labeled release. Uh, this is Podredal with uh, Revering the Unearthed Corpse. Uh, killer, killer stuff. Definitely has that o OSDM sound going on. Kind of interested how this came across uh, the table for Life After Death to put this out with it being out of Brazil, kind of on this yellowish uh, tape there. That's pretty nasty looking, but I did dig this one quite a bit. This came out last year. I don't know if I said that or not, but that's Pordredal with uh, Revering the Unearthed Corpse. Uh, next up, we have a death metal a lot of this, almost all of this is death metal. Not all of it, but almost all of it is death metal. Uh, we have a, a USDM uh, band. This is a Ritual Laceration with Putrid Womb. I'm thinking this came out last year. No, it's showing 2021. So I, th I was thinking maybe it came out last year. This one's pretty good. I don't, I've played it. I don't remember a ton. I'm going to have to revisit um this one, it, I, it, in my memory, it felt like it was uh, kind of chunky, 
old school death metal. I'm not sure where in the States this band is from. Even on uh, Metal Archives, it gives you that NA, not available kind of deal. So I'm wondering if maybe they're from uh, maybe somewhere around Ohio. Uh, next up, we have more death metal. Go figure. This is Idle Ruin with their self-titled uh, demo EP. This came out earlier this year, and this is also a another uh, Life After Death labeled release. I, I did like this one quite a bit. I actually threw this in as a extra in one of the um, giveaway packages that I that I sent out from the the big uh, contest that I did with Rick. I think I might have thrown this one in the third place um, prize package. So I guess that's a spoiler alert. Daryl, if you're watching this, I think don't don't hold me to that. It went into one of the the prize packages because I knew I had uh, another copy on the way. This came from the buy CD, get a, a tape free. So figured I would uh, throw one in a little VCLT or uh, just a little extra freebie for the for the contest. Uh, next up, this is a a, a killer. Uh, I've I've been well. I haven't. I guess let me rewind. Uh, I, it was a killer deal. To get this uh, free when I bought a CD, this is a, a pretty new release. It is the newest full length from Expunged. Uh, this one is entitled Into Never Shell. Uh, this was released on Funeral Hymns Records. Uh, this, I mean, for free, this is definitely something I wanted to check out. I have not listened to this yet, so uh, full transparency on that. Has this clear tape with the kind of blue... Uh, shine going on there. I've heard mixed reviews about Expunge, so uh, it's a band that I, I'm kind of itching to check out. I will probably give this a spin today if it doesn't uh, continue to storm so bad outside and, and power tend to go out. The power here tends to go out when it storms, so I'm hoping that won't be the case because uh, today would be a great day to kind of lounge around and listen to death metal. And then we have a, this this tape just came out not too long ago as well. So just being able to get this one free in an order uh, was also a steal. This is the newest full length. I guess it's the debut full length from uh, Vomit Spell. And this one is self-titled. This was also put out through Life After Death in this kind of blue case. And the tape itself is on a blue shell, kind of baby blue shell. So... Uh, looking forward to checking this one out. Have not uh, heard this yet either. I'm thinking this kind of leans more into the death grind um, realm. I could be wrong on that, but I'm, I'm thinking this is more of a death grind release. So lots of new material here for me to check out. The reason why I haven't listened to some of those is they just came in. Uh, that was the, the most recent order was the buy a CD, get a tape free. So I just haven't had the time to... Um, check out some of those free tapes. When something's free, I, it's a, much easier to do a blind buy on. I'm just going to, these ta these CDs are in no particular order. Uh, they are from just different purchases along the way before making this video. So I'm just going to grab and, and we'll talk about whatever I happen to pull out. Uh, first up, this one was a Bandcamp purchase. I picked this up from the, the Life After Death Bandcamp. I guess while I'm listing the the actual uh, distro store, st uh, web store front, and the social media accounts. I'll go ahead and throw the Life After Death band camp up as well. Uh, this is a band out of Canada, kind of doomy death metal, and uh, it's a band that I've absolutely fallen in love with over the past uh, past year or so. This is Chasm, Chasm Dweller with their EP entitled Fossilized. This is, I think, four tracks of just chunky crunchy doomy death metal and i absolutely love it my only qualm with this uh, particular ep is that it kind of cuts out uh abruptly it just uh, it, it just kept me i guess uh that's a good thing the fact that it just kept me wanting more that is kind of the purpose of an ep uh is to kind of kind of meet that meet that longing just enough to keep you uh satisfied until the full length comes out when i listened to this it just i was craving more the full length came out it felt like some of these tracks were on the full length as well uh, i ordered the 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 full length that came out not too long ago from the band it's being shipped over from canada it just has not made it here yet but i, I really dig chasm dweller fossilized was an amazing release i hope you guys take the time to check that one out for sure uh next up another kind of doomy 
uh, death metal release that that I absolutely love. This is a thorn with crawling worship. I know a lot of you have already checked this one out. I've seen it kind of posted around over the last few months, uh, all over the place, and uh, rightfully so. It is a, a very very strong release as well. This one was also. Uh, put out through life after death. There's quite a few in here that were and then there's some that's just from their distro front that were from other labels as well uh, Next up we have sewer with a uh, psychotic melodies. Uh, this is Ohio death metal and it's just nasty Filthy almost uh, I guess urine soaked uh, death metal. It's just kind of grimy Smelly death metal I know that that probably doesn't make any sense, but it just got got this urine stench uh, to the sound to me. So, uh, next up, uh, this is a band out of Texas. This is Mortuary Descent with a uh, skeletonization. This was also put out through Life After Death. This is more of that chunky, uh, old school style of death metal. I really dig this. And before YouTube took away the uh, dislikes, I know now. I know that some of you guys hate that. You like watch running that dislike uh, counter up on my videos. I, I get it. But this uh, stream, or like, I don't know if it was a EP stream or if it was just particular songs. I, I don't remember. But I know I was checking out some of the material before I purchased the CD. And the uh, dislike count was entirely too high because this is a pretty strong little release. I, I, I didn't understand the hate. I'm assuming it's just that, that trollish behavior that uh, YouTube was trying to cut down on by taking away the dislike counts. I don't know. I, 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 I dislike some people put too much too much uh, emphasis on a ha their like dislike counter. Just do what makes you happy is, is the only advice that I know uh, to give you guys. Next up, this is an international band. And sometimes, have you ever heard an an album or, or, or a release and within like the thir first 30 seconds, first 30, 45 seconds or so of listening, you know that you're just going to love the entire release. You just have that feeling and some, something just clicks and you just know. For me, this album did absolutely that. Uh, this is Eternal Rot with um, Putri Putridarium. This is Doomy, Doomy Death Metal, uh, head, head rocking, head knocking, do me death. I, I don't know. I, I, I can't even talk about this or look at this album without getting this smile on my face. It's just so much fun. Absolutely love this. Anthony over at Metal Miners. Um, I'm sure you've probably already heard this. If anyone has, you kind of have your, I think, uh, Brian Arkham said it best. You kind of have your finger on the pulse of this, um, death metal resurgence, this uh, new wave of death metal scene going on. I'm sure you've already heard this, but if you have not, Anthony, definitely check out Eternal Rod. I think this would be right up your alley, something that you would really, really get into. Uh, this was released on Gods of War Productions. Killer, killer stuff there. Definitely, definitely check that one out, guys. Uh, next up, this is an album that had no business whatsoever uh, being... As good as it was, I I, it, I I mean, I guess it does have the business of, of being that good. It just caught me off guard with how good this was, how, how blown away I was by listening to this. I definitely want to go backtrack and get their debut full length now as well. This was my introduction to this band. Uh, this is Noroth with Harbringer. Straightforward death metal. Definitely has that uh, old school vibe going on throughout. It's just... I don't know. I can't put into words how good uh, I think this album is. This was also put out through Life After Death. Uh, they went Digipack style with this. I think that was on the... Uh, I think the band wanted that put out on in Digi style. So I know Life After Death, I, I usually applaud them for the Jewel Case uh, versions. Digipacks aren't bad when they're not the eco wallets. So I can get behind Digipacks like this. I, it's not a, a something that's going to completely put me off. This is a phenom, phenom, phenomenal, phenomenal release. I'm wanting to spend a little bit more time with this, but there is a chance that this could probably end up on my album of the year list this year because I've been, it's one of those that's kind of staying the test of time in the rotation. And I, I want to give it a fair shake before I say yay or nay and put it into 
um, into the album of the year or exclude it. Sorry, I just dropped something. I've got a free uh, download code for somebody for that album. So you can uh, check it out for yourself and know that I was right, that it was that good. This is a Bandcamp download. There we go. For the Harbinger album. Uh, if, after you take that code, please just comment in the comments that, that you picked it up. So um, people don't waste their time trying to to pick that up. I, like, I already have it in my Bandcamp collection, so I figured one of you guys might like that as well. That's one thing, too, about Life After Death. They either throw in the little download code sometimes, or they will email you um, download the album downloads to download yourself after you make purchase the physical copies. So you actually get the benefit of getting the, the physical and a digital copy of the albums. Uh, next up, we have some black metal kind of switching it up a little bit. We have uh, Fornicus and Offstingen, or Offstingen, uh, with their split. This one's been out a little bit. I had it on tape. Um, I knew the CD, that I was going to pick up the CD, so I threw the tape that I had in the giveaway. Fornicus went a, a much, um, a, a little bit, a, a, a much darker, uh, almost ferocious, more ferocious style on this split than what they've kind of put out in the past. I'm wondering if they're kind of transforming. It's been kind of fun following the band pretty much from the beginning and watching their transformation and watching their progression. Uh, this, this little split that they've done here kind of is more of the same. They're getting, uh, just it, it, turning into a, a, a uh, much darker, straightforward black metal band. And uh, the Offstingen or Offstingen portion of this split is pretty good as well. Just Fornicus is one of those bands that, uh, that I've pretty much followed uh, from the beginning. I've, I've been following them since the uh, Feast for Rats EP. So it's just been a, a wild ride and a fun ride for me to follow along with them and see where they're progressing to. Uh, I guess I'll go ahead and throw this up. This is another little free download, kind of a freebie from me to you guys, to anybody that's watching uh, and wants to pick this up. This is uh, Chain Sword with Blight March. I did not pick this up in this in this little haul, but Eric was nice enough to throw the download code. If it will cooperate, we're going to try. I'm trying to give it. There we go. So, little something from me to you guys. Um, I'm not real big on the digital portions. I'm just going to go ahead and take the rest of this stuff out of the box. I'd much rather have the physical than the digital. I mean, digitals are nice when I'm at work and stuff. But for me, it's all about the physical format. Uh, next up, this is the reissue that Dunslaughter uh, put out themselves uh, for the GOAT album. I'm, I'm sure there's several reissues, but this is the most recent that was put out through uh, by Nunslaughter themselves. I'm sure you guys all know Nunslaughter. They are the band with a million different releases and physical releases. I would hate to be someone trying to put together that entire discography. But uh, killer stuff there. Next up, this is a band out of Italy. Uh, this is kind of spacey, um, death metal. It's It's... Atmospheric at times, it's kind of hard to put in words. I, I like to call this death metal with class, so it's right up my alley. Uh, this is Autotheism with The Sleeper Awakens. And this is a concept album, and uh, the movie, it's a, a movie directed by John Carpenter, and the, the movie title just completely uh, disappeared in, in my brain. I have not seen the movie, so that, that may be another... Um, reason why I can't remember what it was. If the movie is anything as good as this album is, then I'm definitely going to have to go watch that movie. I'm just not a big movie buff. There we go. But the album itself, Spacey, kind of it has the atmospherics at times, but just Spacey, Death Metal, uh, good stuff. I, as I said, I like to call that Death Metal with Class. So it has the uh, classy metal stamp of approval there uh, next up we have some speed metal out of i know this band is in I, i'm thinking they're out of peru i was hoping maybe it would say somewhere on the uh 
on the inside. One of the bands that I'm about to show is from Peru, and one that I'm about to show is from Chile. So uh, I think I may have them mixed up, but I'm thinking this is the band out of um, Peru. This is the, the, I think it's their debut full length. It's just uh, kind of, they call themselves Lethal Speed Metal, and it is a pretty strong uh, speed metal release. This is a Morvidin with their self-titled. This was kind of a blind buy, and I, I'm very happy that I picked this up. This was released on Evil Rights Records. And this has a very classic speed metal sound going on uh, throughout, but it is a, a very strong release. The musicianship on this uh, is, is quite stellar. Uh, some very catchy riffs going on in this as well. And they, uh, lethal Speed Metal from More Divine. More, more Viden. More Viden. Uh, next up, I think this one is from Chile. So hopefully I didn't get those backwards. This is uh, some traditional heavy metal. And this is uh, Iron Spell with Electric Conjuring. This was a pretty fun release as well. Uh, this is a full length. This came out, I'm thinking this came out originally in 2016. I want to say, I'm thinking this might be a reissue. Uh, this was put out on Dis Disturbia Productions. And this one says Peru, so maybe this one was out of Chile. So, there we go. It says Peru on the back. I don't know. Kind of drawing a blank on this. But uh, this is another very fun release. Very catchy, very, very catchy release. Uh I had a lot of fun listening to this one. Definitely wanting to uh, to revisit this and spend a little bit more time with it. But Iron Spell was definitely a very, very fun listen. Uh, I have one more download code for you guys. This is uh, from Pagan and Paler. This is the Salem release. And this one is not in this order as well. There we go. So that's the last... Uh, download that I have for you guys. Next up is an album uh, that I fell head over heels in love with. This is kind of war metal out of Germany and it is just it is it is relentless and the beginning of this uh, I guess this EP you feel like you're marching into a, a, a war and uh, then you feel like you're stuck in this war throughout the duration. This is bestial warfare with a desecrating goat assault. Just goat metal. This is goat metal. I, I don't know what else to... When I think goat metal, this is what I what I feel like uh, it should sound like. This is a ton of fun. It is relentless. It is bludgeoning. It is dark. It is evil. And it is uh, just a wild ride throughout. It, the 20-ish minutes or so that this EP runs for uh, just flies by. It is, it is a... Uh, non-stop assault on your senses there and then the last one is a band out of russia they are out of russia but this sounds uh surprisingly uh i, I guess it just not surprisingly they are a big band it it wouldn't feel like it was out of russia to me if i didn't know that the band was out of russia there is so much unleashed influence going on throughout this album they have their own little uh Pieces that they throw in as well to not make it just complete and utter unleashed worship. They have a, a few little uh, sections where they try to, to spark out and do something different. But uh, there is a huge amount of unleashed uh, influence going on on this. This is Pyre with a human hecatune. Uh, this one has been out for a little bit. They have a new release, I think, that came out last year. This one came out, I'm thinking around that 2016 mark from uh, Chaos Records. Just a nice slab of old school death metal. That kind of Swedish uh, sound going on on this for sure. And uh, definitely some heavy, heavy, heavy Unleashed Worship going on on that. As I said, I'm going to uh, link up Life After Death in the description. And I will try to, if nothing else, at least list all of the albums that I showed in order. I may not get around to uh, putting links for all of them but I will work on trying to get that done today. That's all I've got for today. Um, 
I'm going to get back on this CD collection. I have to because this is going to turn into a you know five year affair at the rate that I'm going, and I don't want to have that hanging over my head for so long. Um, that's all I've got. Uh, Metalhead box is on the way. I have a few other things, some Black Friday deals and stuff that'll that'll be kind of trickling in and all that good stuff. But that's all I've got. Stay classy, stay metal, and I will see you all very soon. I promise. <laughs>